But tonight I also want to share with you something that's not a trick. And it's not an illusion. It is something that is true, that is absolutely 100% completely real. And that is this simple truth. That God does love you and he has an amazing plan for your life. See, that's not a trick. That's not an illusion. That is true. In fact, the incredible thing that every single one of us can know without a doubt is that each and every one of us were created by God. In fact, tonight this purple piece of cloth will help us think of God. Now, God made me and God made you, each and every one of you. So this red one will help us think of people. And you see, here's the thing. When God made us, he had a plan. In fact, it was his plan and his idea that we as people would experience a perfect, solid, unbroken relationship with him. That's what God wanted us to know, but there's a problem. See, the problem is that we've all done something that's ruined all of that. We've said things that we knew we shouldn't say. We've done things that were wrong to do. Those kind of things we are told are called sin, and the fact is, because we have sinned, We've been separated from God. That perfect relationship we were created to have has been broken and destroyed. In fact, not only have we been separated from God, but there's now a penalty we have to pay. A price that we owe because we're not perfect. In fact, we are told that the wages of sin, the price that we owe because we're not perfect, that price is death. But some people say, David, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. If none of us are perfect, if we've all said and done things we shouldn't say and do, if all of us have sinned and the price that we owe for sinning is death, why are we all still alive? That's a fair question. See, the thing is this, this doesn't mean a physical death. In other words, it does not mean that if you go do something later today that you're not supposed to do, you'll die. Thankfully for all of us, that's not what that means. What it does mean is that we face a spiritual death. And that can be even more confusing, so hopefully this picture will help. What that truly means is that our sin has now come in between we as people and God. And the reality is that as long as there is that sin in our life, there's nothing we could ever do by ourselves to fix that problem. We would forever be separated from God because of that sin. And if that was the end of the story, it definitely would not be a very good story. We see, thankfully for all of us, that's not the end because there was one person who was different. A person like me and like you. A person who walked upon this earth and faced temptation like all of us do. But this one person never gave in to that temptation. Never said things that would have been wrong to say or did things that would have been wrong to do. One person was perfect. And that one and only person was Jesus. Now, I don't know if Jesus really looked like this. It's just a picture that helps us think of Jesus. But he truly was the only perfect person who ever lived. And even though he was perfect, there were still people who didn't like him. In fact, they hated Jesus to the point they began to spit upon him, beat him. They nailed him to a cross, and they killed Jesus. In fact, after Jesus died upon that cross, they went a step further. They brought his body down from the cross. They began to do something with it. They began to wrap it in some burial clothes, which simply were some strips of cloth in which he would be buried in. They placed Jesus' dead body inside those strips of cloth, and then they did one last thing. They took that entire thing and put it inside a tomb, which was simply a large hole in the ground in which a great big rock or stone had been placed in front to keep it closed. Jesus' dead body was placed inside that tomb, and at that moment, I'm sure some people began to think that maybe this was the end of Jesus. Maybe we can forget about everything he talked about. Maybe we don't have to live our life how Jesus said to live because now he's dead. But that wasn't the end. You see, on the third day, some people came to that tomb. And you can imagine how surprised they must have been when they noticed that the stone placed in front to keep it closed had been rolled away. As if by a miracle, someone had simply reached down, picked it up, and set it aside. They looked inside that tomb, and when they did, they saw something even more amazing. You see, what they realized was that Jesus' body was no longer there. The incredible truth is that Jesus loved us so much. He died on a cross for our sin, but he did not stay dead. He rose from that grave. And it's only because of that that our picture can be changed. 
You remember that picture that we as people were separated from God because of that sin in the middle. I told you there's nothing we can do by ourselves to fix that problem. But because of what Jesus has done, there is a way. In fact, Jesus said it like this. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No person comes to God but through me.